Hey, what's going on guys? Charlie here today with a tutorial showing you how to correctly install iOS 7. A lot of people have been having the problem, um, error code is 9006 when they try to install um, iOS 7. It's preventing them from uninstalling it. But also been, you, many people have also been given the error that they do not have permission to perform such function when trying to update their device. Um, now I'm going to be showing you just it's a very minor step, but it was it is very important on correctly executing the installation of iOS 7. Um, so first off, um, as you can see, I'm just in iTunes right now, and then I have my iPad right here. This is the device I'm going to be updating. Obviously, you can see that it's obviously not on um, iOS 7. So the first thing you're obviously going to want to do is just plug in the iPad. It's just that simple. Um, when you plug in the iPad. It does recognize it on um, iTunes, as you see iTunes loading. And let me go ahead and exit out of image capture. And as we're waiting for iTunes to load, before you install, there's a very important thing you need to do to your iPad. Um, so you need to go to settings, then go to general. And when you're in general, you need to go to reset. And then you need to go to reset all settings. And hit reset. Yes. As you can see, we are resetting the settings now, and on um, iTunes it said a new version of iPad software 7.0 is available. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit cancel at this time right now. Um, but go ahead and uh, go to the iPad. And just wait for the settings to you know, apply, and I will be back to you guys. As you can see, the, I, the uh, iPad is done resetting, so the iTunes is right now just loading. But what you're going to want to do is just open it up, settings again, and you're going to want to go to like, Wi-Fi, and then it'll load the wireless networks. Uh, select your wireless network, and you're going to want to hit forget this network if it is um, if you connect to it. So do not connect to the network. Um, so you're going to, going to want to turn wireless off. After you've done that, you're going to want to make sure all apps are closed. This is another error. Alright, so now um, let's head on over to iTunes. And you can, as you can see, a new iPad software version 7.0 is available for the iPad. Go ahead and hit download and update. Um, continue. Next. Agree, and then as if you can go to your downloads for iTunes, it is 1.12 gigabytes, um, and I will talk to you guys when this is done because I'm not going to record for the full uh, what is that 28 minutes that it's that it has on its download. But I will uh, be back to you as soon as it's done, and I will show you just how to set it up, and I will be bringing you guys a full review. Um, of iOS 7 um, very shortly so um, not in this video but I will definitely make another video covering that so I'll talk to you guys once it's done alright so now that the um, so now that the the download is done this message will pop up saying a new iPad software version 7.0 is available for the iPad um, if you like to update it just go ahead and click update Continue. And as you can see, the iPad will start. Um, not only will it start to. Sorry. Not only will it start to install the software, but it will also start to extract it, and your iPad will do um, different things. So let's just go ahead and wait for it. It'll make a backup of it, as it's doing right now. All right, backing up. All right, now it is preparing the iPad software, and it will begin to install. As you can see here, we have connect to iTunes um, screen right now. And there we go. We have a new Apple logo. Um, it's it's not it's I guess more two dimensional. 
Um, we have a new loading bar. It is thinner, a lot thinner actually. And it'll verify the iPad update with Apple. The whole concept design, um, the visual design of the iPad, uh, the iOS 7 update is really two-dimensional, I guess, um, is uh, what you could put it. I personally don't like it um, as the visually as much as um, as much as the old iOS, but, um, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I think, I like some of the new features they've added, um, I like the new spotlight, that's pretty cool, um, I like the new lock screen, that's, that's pretty neat, but, like, the icons, the, um, um, especially the, um, the gray bar at the bottom of the, the screen where you have your, your dock, um, it's like a gray, it's like grayed out like it was in, um, like maybe a couple of years ago, maybe four or five years ago. Um, so yeah, we're basically just going to let this load. Um, the bar across the iPad will, or the iPhone or whatever device you're on, will go completely across and it will, um, install. It, it show, it will show the overall, um, installation progress um, so it could take some time I think it might take about maybe 10 minutes at the most um, the longest parts are the beginning the uh, verifying and especially downloading it depending on your internet speed so I mean if you have really fast internet that could be almost nothing but my internet's mediocre so that's why it takes a fair bit of time So yeah, um, get back to you with the next installation step. Alright guys, so the iPad has been updated. Basically, I cut out a lot of, um, maybe about 10 minutes of just unloading. All it really is is waiting for it to install, so there's nothing really you can do differently to make it install better. Um, so as you can see, it has been updated. We got a message saying it's been updated and okay, so... Um, as you can see, oh wow, that is different, oh, 12 gigs other, that's, wow, that sure is something. Um, so yeah, we have um, iOS 7. It, it, right now, what is it doing? It is updating, um, just preparing, um, I guess, the startup screen. The bar is just going across the screen, so I will go ahead and bring this, bring you guys um, back to when it is uh, installed. Right now, we don't need iTunes anymore. We don't. You don't really need to see it because there's nothing you can do um, once you've reached this point in iTunes um, to make it install better. So, as you can see, it says hello. Slide to setup. So I will go ahead and eject this from iTunes, so we can go straight to the um, iPad only camera. Alright, so now that it is ejected, we can take this out. Um, and let's go for it. So let's go ahead, I'm just going to go walk you guys through the installation process of the iPad. Um, so, as you can see, it's saying hello in lots of different languages. So, go ahead and start. As you can see, it says slide to set up. Update completed. The iPad was successfully updated. There are more steps to follow, and then we're done. This is basically the exact same as any other um this is basically the exact same as any other, uh, just any other, what's it called, um, setup you've done with your iPads and stuff. So just basically put in your password for your Apple ID, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, here we go. There we go, you should be able to see it better. Um, let's see, terms and conditions, agree. Agree. And then it'll set up your Apple ID. It says it may take a few minutes, but usually, you know, it really doesn't take that long. Um, so, yeah, this is, um, I will come back to you guys once it is ready. All right, so get this screen. Um, use iCloud, why not? Ah, uh, don't matter. Use Find My iPad. Ooh, I'm going to have to block out this screen because I don't want you guys to see my phone number. Then we'll update your 
my cloud settings. Um, enter a four digit passcode. All right. Look into that real quick. All right, welcome to iPad. Get started. Here we go. We have iOS 7. Let's tell you Spotlight has moved. Spotlight is swiped down. Um, this brings up your Spotlight search. So um, swipe up, get it up. They've added this new dashboard thing. Um, swipe up from the bottom and you get this. Um, obviously multitasking. You can no longer change the brightness and things from multitasking, so it just moved. Um, it didn't even allow the first glitch of iOS 7. Um, yeah, so this is basically just no. Wow, this is this sure is something. All right, so as you can see, folders look a little, a little different. Um, not sure if I like the scrolling down thing because I accidentally do it a lot but I think it's pretty cool um so yeah this is as you can see the um the lock thing the lock sound is different and then obviously slide to unlock and then you have your passcode um so basically this has been the installation of iOS 7 pretty simple um except for the few steps at the very beginning which um people might have not known to do so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um, if it did help you um, please uh, rate comment subscribe um, uh, definitely drop comment if you enjoyed it um, if you found it helpful then go ahead and just uh, like it comment subscribe favorites whatever whatever you want to do um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching I will talk to you guys in the next video